Hi again, EasyBot here, and today we're going to make a tracker in Orca by 100 Rabbits. Trackers are a type of music sequencing software that was first developed in the 1980s. Trackers hit the height of their popularity between the 80s and the early 2000s, and are responsible for a lot of great music, but most notably for me, they're responsible for a lot of great video game music. So let me show you how to make one, and you can make some great music too. All right, let's get started. Trackers look kind of like spreadsheets. They read values in a chronological fashion, typically from top to bottom. This tracker is going to be a 16 step sequencer. So we need to build a track that's gonna house the memory of those 16 steps. There are several ways you can build a tracker in Orca, but the way I like to do it is as follows. I'm gonna take a hashtag and another hashtag and what I did was create this kind of dead space where I can put values in and they won't react like operands. And these five values are going to hold the memory of our tracks. So I'm going to have 16 of these eventually, and I'm going to have a module that's going to read all 16 of them, and then we'll make four tracks of them. With me? Let's keep going. So to the left of it, I'm going to put in a Q operand. The Q operand reads values at an offset. See, reads operands with offset. So you can set an amount of values that it reads. We want it to read five because that's how many spaces are in between these hashtags. And that's how many spaces are after a MIDI operand. So we could place a MIDI operand there. Now we want it to read over here. So we have to give it a value for the X axis to move it to the right. This is our Y axis and we're going to use that with a clock operator to drive down the track once we get to that space. So over here, we're going to put in a, what, seven, eight, eight. We're going to put in an eight. That moved it over right in between these two hashtags, which is perfect. So now we will put some values in here. I'm going to put MIDI channel five, octave two, it's actually MIDI channel six, I'm sorry. Octave two, five is six in Orca because one starts at zero. <laughs> and then I'm going to copy it and copy it and copy it. And I'm going to take these four, duplicate it. And now we have 16 steps. They all have the same value. So let's change these values a little bit. We'll create a major seven chord because they sound nice. And there we go. So now we need to drive our sequencer down the track so it can read the memory in these spots here. So we'll take a clock and we'll put a G in here because I know a G is equal to 16 in Orca. So there we go. You can see right here that the information is being read from our track and being placed into this MIDI operand. So now all we have to do is trigger it. There you go. We already have a working tracker. So let's make it a little bit more interesting. What I want to be able to do is to change the length that this queue reads. So maybe I only want it to read these five steps and maybe I want it to read them slower. That is something that would be pretty important for a tracker. So how we're going to do that is we're going to place a variable here and a variable here. And we're going to put a jumper here so that we can place a variable up here. So inside these variables, we're going to put some values. So we'll put a V here and we'll put a V here. And this V will be called A, and this V will be called B. And for now, we'll use a two, and we'll use a G, because this is going to fit into um, the length that the tracker reads. So we want it to be G so that it reads all the way down the tracker. So we'll put an A here and an A here. So we're going to put a B here. 
as you can see, it's reading 16 steps and it's reading it much slower. Now we can put it here. Dun, 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 dun. And if we want it to only read a few steps, change the value here. Cool. So now what we can do is we can take this and copy it and copy it. Oh, whoa, Did not like that. And copy it and copy it. And now we have three tracks. I actually want to move this one slightly over. Okay, so maybe we'll just make, no, we can just move it over. My bad. Move this here. Okay, so now we'll copy this one more time so we can get our fourth track, because I said we we're making a four track 16 step sequencer. And I'm a man of my word. Okay, so all we have to do if we want this to be different is change these MIDI channels. If you want to remove a step, just delete one of the channels here. So for now, I'm going to turn off these tracks by putting in lowercase d's. I could just delete the D that could have been just fine. So we'll delete, just delete it. So if we want to put a space in our track, just delete the first number. This will delete the channel, so it won't be able to send a message. Cool. So I know that channels 0, 1, and 2 for me are drums. So I'm going to use this track of our tracker to be my drum track, or my kick and snare. How about that? So we'll put a kick here, and we'll put a snare here, and a kick here. And a kick here, I'll delete this, put a snare here, kick, snare, delete, kick, snare, kick. Cool, I like it already. Over here, I'm just gonna have this be a bunch of hi-hats. So we'll put threes in. Oh. I'm silly. I meant to be put twos in. My bad. Okay. Right. And now I need to reactivate this sequencer. Oh, sick. Okay. I'm already having fun. Let's reactivate these two. Ooh, trackers are fun, aren't they? Awesome. So if we wanted to have these like hi-hats not all sound the same every time, just super straight like they are, we could put a X variable here, an X operand, and we will have it go down its um, Y axis and just fill in values here. So we'll just put a random operator to feed it random values with a maximum value of say G and a minimum value of say seven. And then we will clock it, put a jumper in there so I can jump a value into it. Cause if I put a clock here, this seven is going to react to the clock. So I'll put a clock here and we will feed it. Now we have uh, random hi-hats. I can demonstrate that further by deleting these D, oh, whoops. 
There you go, it's easier to hear it now. The hi-hats are kind of alive. And you can do that with anything. So we could essentially copy this whole thing and bring it over here. There you go. Now it's doing that to this MIDI channel 5. We'll make it MIDI channel. Because we built this tracker in Orca, we can do whatever we want. When you go into a tracker, you have to work with the parameters that the program was designed. You can't just make up new parameters. Well, we sure can in Orca, and it's very cool, such as making these randomized velocity values for our hi-hats. We could use that same little uh, mechanism that we built for the randomization of the velocity on our gate length if we were to just move this over one space. So X, move it over, and V. And now... I'm just not going to have that much of an effect because it's on a hi-hat. <laughs> so we'll do it over here. So we can really hear that. You can really get the idea of how a tracker works. This is it. This is what you do in trackers. You go in with your keyboard. Well, this one lets you use the mouse. I think Renoise lets you use the mouse too, but if you get fast in Renoise, just using the keyboard is the way to go. <clears throat> I prefer using a keyboard. I'm just using the mouse because it's more expressive in a tutorial. Because I can point to things with the mouse. So Go in, turn off some values, change a couple things, and let's mess with this clock. Ooh. You can see that this clock is moving faster than this clock. I really like that, it kinda looks like the Matrix. Really, that's all there is to it. There's a bunch of different ways to make trackers, like I said, but this is the way I like to make them. And it sounds pretty cool to me. So I hope you have fun. I hope you learned something new. Sorry it took me so long to make another Orca tutorial. I hope to see you on my Discord. There's a link below. And uh, if you want, come visit me on my Patreon at patreon.com slash easybot. Take care, everyone.